Nephrogenic adenoma, also called nephrogenic metaplasia, is a benign epithelial lesion of the urinary tract, uh, which commonly occurs secondary to urothelial injury. It can be associated uh, with tubular, glandular, or papillary type of growth. So here we have the biopsy of the urinary bladder. Uh, in this part of the slide, we can see normal urothelium without cytomorphological atypia, with normal retained maturation and uh, with umbrella cells on the surface of the urothelium. Here we have the stroma of the urinary bladder with mild chronic inflammation and some lymphoid tissue. And here we have the nephrogenic adenoma. This case is associated mostly with papillary type of growth and the papillae are lined by one uh, layer of cuboidal to low columnar epithelial cells. There are also uh, quite characteristic hobnail cells, which is a typical morphological feature for nephrogenic adenoma. The cells uh, have oval-shaped, uniform, bland nuclei, sometimes with uh, inconspicuous nucleoli. There are no cytomorphological atypia, no mitotic figures. On the surface, uh, we see papillary type of growth, and there are also these tubules lined by the same cells. Around the tubules, we can see prominent basement membrane uh, with mild hyalinization. In the adjacent st stroma we can see chronic uh, infiltration composed of lymphocytes and plasma cells and uh, there are uh, some capillaries associated with uh, vasodilation. An important differential diagnosis is uh, prostatic adenocarcinoma which can sometimes resemble these tubules of the nephrogenic adenoma. So metastatic uh, prostate adenocarcinoma needs to be excluded. Thanks for watching.